and today as a group we're going to talk about the microeconomics of two scooter companies, Bird and Lime, in the Boise Valley. Hey guys, so I am Mahdi and today we're going to talk about Bird and Lime companies and the difference between them. So Bird and Scooch or Lime are a, a US based uh, company. They both uh, sell electric uh, scooter and bikes and offer them for a hire to consumers at a small fee. Uh, Lime operates in the 65 cities in the US and it has expanded uh, in the other uh, countries uh, like France, Germany and Mexico. Uh, Bird operates in 18 different cities in the United States. However, Bird Current value is $2.1 billion, however, the lime is about $1.1 billion. Thank you. Hi there, my name is Zach, and I'll be talking about the comparisons between the lime and bird scooters and the services that they offer and just the company as a whole and the scooters themselves. Uh, real similar, you have a dollar down payment for each one but Lime is actually five cents cheaper per minute. Uh, online, people have been saying that the Limes are typically a smoother ride and they're a little bit cleaner, while the birds are a little bit faster and stronger, but the handles are kind of gnarly. Uh, Lime lasts for quite a bit longer. The battery is quite a bit stronger than the bird. As you can see, about twice as much, over twice as much. Uh, it's interesting because it's, a, it's definitely a duopoly, an oligopoly, and we don't understand why Lime is charging five cents less per minute. We reached out to a representative. They didn't get back to us because they could very easily charge the extra five cents. The supply, they both have a supply cap in the valley at 250 scooters. So there's really no reason to be charging less. You can get away with charging the same price. It's very bizarre. So now I just want to talk a little bit about some of the results I got. I made a survey to for some of the BSU students here. I sent it out to 279 students, 46 responded and got back to me. Of the 46, you can see that 28 people prefer bird over line. The funny thing is though that only 21 people have ridden a bird scooter. So can, you can see already that it's really new to the area, so people are still figuring out what they like, what's good about bird, and what's good about line. So you can tell from the results I saw that most people prefer bird, and people see bird a lot more often too, making, meaning that there's more supply in the area for them, so it's more convenient, there's more access to it, even though it might be a little bit more spendy, people, there's like the app is a little more friendly to them in their, some ways. One downside of the app though for bird is that you have to have a driver's license, so this can make it a little hard for some people to just start it up. While Lime, it was kind of convenient because you don't need to have a license to get started, you just have to do an honor code, I made it really easy and fast to get started. Okay, so I just rode the Lime scooter. It's my first time. So a few things that you might want to know is, it tells you that you need a license and you need 18 years old, but it's based on the honor code, so you don't really have to be 18. It's just part of the agreement that you sign on the app. Um, it was pretty smooth, it went pretty fast too. I wasn't used to it because I haven't ridden it before, but it was pretty fun from what my experience. There's some confusion though when you get the app. Um, for a second, I thought I had to pay $10 in advance for the prepayment, but you don't have to do that. They'll charge you by the minute, how long you go and the distance. So that's one thing to take into consideration. There's some confusion, so you might not know how much you're paying um, ahead of time, so you might think you have to pay the $10, but that's just an option they give you, so there might be some confusion. Other than that, the, it's pretty good. The brake worked really well because I was going fast and so I could use the brakes and it was you know, nice for that reason. Also, it looks pretty nice. It's kind of better looking than the bird in my opinion. So that's all I have to say about the line. Okay, so I just rode the bird. It looks amazing. It drives so smooth. Um, lucky me, I took it for free because a friend of mine uh, sent me a code. So uh, I ride it for free and it's amazing. Um, one disadvantage is before you ride it, you have to take a picture of your driver's license, front and back, and everything else is awesome. I just love it. Thank you.
Hey guys, my name is Alex, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the game theory of these two companies. So, each ride, uh, the average ride for each company is about 13 minutes, and there's also a dollar down payment for both companies. Um, so, if Lime charges 15 cents per minute, and Bird charges 15 cents per minute, it's going to be $2.95 per each company. Then, which is the optimal strategy where the consumers are going to get the most out of. If um, Bird charges 15 cents and Lime charges 20 cents per minute, Bird will only make $2.95 and uh, Lime will make $3.60. Then if Bird charges 20 cents and Lime charges 20 cents, they'll both make $3.60 which is the dominant strategy, and that's where uh, usually collusion might happen, and um, they'll probably get in trouble by the government for that. And then for Bird, this is what actually happened. Bird charged 20 cents, and Lime charged 15 cents. So the average ride makes about $3.60 for Bird, and the average ride for Lime makes about $2.95. A reason why we might think people are willing to pay this is based off the convenience factor. The, um, like mentioned before, we see more birds in the area, so people are gonna take what's around. And then also another reason is because uh, there's a ride sharing system in the app where you could get free rides, which incentivizes you to use bird.